Students in Quebec return to school next week, but right now there won't be enough teachers to welcome them back. An additional 20,000 students are expected to enter the Quebec school system this year, and now the province is stuck scrambling to recruit enough staff to meet the demands. Vanessa Lee has more. A last-minute hiring blitz on Montreal's South Shore as school boards scramble to make sure there are enough teachers and support staff when students return next week. Last Friday, we had 5,700 uh, jobs to be filled. Quebec's education minister says they've hired 1,900 teachers in the past week. 3,800 vacancies still need to be filled. We're still moving closer to our objective, which is to have one teacher per classroom for the new school year. The province says there are 20,000 more students enrolled this year, mostly new immigrants. Quebec is currently home to half of asylum seekers in Canada, putting strain on a system that is already stretched. Fewer and fewer teachers are staying in the profession. At some point I had to say enough's enough. Longtime social studies teacher Nathalie Bertrand just resigned from the public system. She says the stress and uncertainty of assignments has taken a toll. Six schools in the last 10 years. So the impact it had on me was that every year it's like moving into a new house and having a new boss and uh, learning a new situation. The retention and recruitment crisis isn't new, nor is it unique to Quebec. The Canadian Teachers Federation says the shortage isn't necessarily because of salary. That we actually have a shortage of good working conditions, we have a shortage of support in the classrooms, and we have a shortage of respect. In Quebec, there are fears it may be even harder now to make up for lost time after COVID and a five-week teacher strike. During um, summer school, it was a record number of children that went to summer school. The tally of 3,800 unfilled positions does not include missing support staff. The education minister says the number of unqualified teachers in the classroom won't be known until October. Vanessa Lee, CBC News, Montreal.